what's up everyone welcome to this lecture of python for all and gas series my name is divyansh and in previous few videos what we have learned is uh, we have learned a lot about functions uh, there are still few things which i need to teach you uh, more about functions but i think that it will be uh, it will be boring if we go keeping uh, we going on and uh, learn per functions again and again so what i'm doing is i'm taking a break from functions and i'll introduce you to data structures in from this video and a uh, few next lectures will be based on these data structures only and after completing the data structures topic we'll come back again to functions so uh, today is uh, the first data structures in python is list so let's get started with list in this video okay so first of all what a data structure is what a data structure is a data structure is nothing but it helps you to store and access the data if you want to store a huge amount of data a data structure will help you do that and it is also easy to access data uh, with the help of data structures now built in data structures in python are lists uh, dictionaries sets and tuples so from uh, this video will be basically uh, i'll teach you about some basics of list uh list is a very important topic if you want to learn python because we'll be using list again and again uh in our uh, in especially in the data science field if you want to go uh, there is a huge importance of the lists beat any data structure so let's start with list uh, what list is so list actually contains a order collection of a data and can store any data type why i have specifically written here ordered uh, because it means whatever in which order in very order which in which you uh, give the data inside the list it will print in the same order because few data sets a uh, few data structures are there which are not ordered you give in some uh, in some specific order and but it will return in any random order okay so it it can also store any data type so what a syntax of list is you just write anything inside the square brackets let's say i write mul i write multiple values even if i wrote if, even if i write if and if i don't write any values inside let's say my variable a contains a list this this is my list even if i don't have any uh, inputs inside this list it will be considered as, as as a list so if i run this cell and if i see the type of this a variable it will show me that it is a list type great see so similarly uh, you can have a list with any uh, any number of data types as well let's say i have a variable name pressure it has a uh, at a different depth it's have a different value of pressures let's say when it is 2000 psi then there again if it is 2200 and then it is 2500 psi so this is also a list right so if i also check this type of this data uh, this variable it will come as a list so this is a list with the integer values right so uh, i have already checked this type now what we can do is uh, we can also create a list with the float values so let's say mud weight i have a variable mud weight which contains a different kinds of muds different uh, gravity of muds which we have used in our uh, drilling the well let's say one is 9.5 ppg then 10.2 ppg and also we have used let's say 12.5 ppg so this is also a list with the float values and if i again check the type of this mud weight this will give me a list great so list with the string values let's say i have a, a variable called production what production does is in what what production stores is uh, let's say uh, all around india i am storing the states where which are which is giving me a production which is giving me a production so what are the states let's say i'm saying maharashtra and i'll also have added here rajasthan right i'll also have added here andhra pradesh andhra i'll write great so this is also a list okay now it is not necessary that uh, it is it just contain a single kind of data type inside for what i mean is that here it is storing only integer values here it is storing only the float values here it is storing the um, uh, only string values what it can do is it can also store with the multiple data types so let's say i have a list called list1 okay i'll just remove the underscore list1 and it stores me it also stores 2500 
it also stored 12.5 it also stores uh, let's say rajasthan it also stores uh, another data type let's say a boolean right and another data type let's say complex so it can store any amount of data types uh, whatever it can store now if i check this type of list one type of list one is my variable name right so if i check the type of this variable list one it will give me a list so it is also a list great now let's uh, talk about list indexing we have already talked about string indexing so list indexing is pretty much similar uh, as a string indexing uh, let's say for example i consider i i just print here list one my i'll just print my list one here just to uh, keep it in front of my eyes i have printed it here uh, now i want to access uh, again the index starting I, I have told you that in python index always starts from zero so in case of let's say if i have uh, uh, a b c is my string so here what will happen the index zero will be equal to a right in uh, string index one equal to uh, b one will be equal to b and my index second will be equal to c right so similarly the first element it means the a is the first element right that is why it is zero index b is the second element that is the first index similarly it happens in the case of a list here so first element of list is what 2500 so uh, 2500 uh, will be the at zeroth index 12.5 will be at the first index Th rajasthan will be at the third index so if you want to see list one is my variable name i want to access the zeroth index and i want to print that see i'm getting the value of uh, 2500 similarly if i now want to access the uh, string let's say index 2 it will give me rajasthan correct if i uh, access the uh, again the index 4 let's see what it gives me it gives me 5 plus 4 ij because 0 1 2 3 4 if i give here 5 it will give me error because uh, it is out of range list index out of range because fifth index doesn't lie here correct now also one thing one more thing that similarly i have told you that indexing can also be done in reverse manner so uh, so this element this has the index of four fifth plus five plus four ig and it will also have the index of minus one as well okay let's say this i quote four here and if i write and here if i go for minus one again because minus one we are starting in the reverse order it will give me the same value similarly this value has the index of three and minus two both three zero one two three and minus one minus two similar so this is pretty much similar as the case of string indexing nothing new here great now let's talk about uh, list slicing this is also very similar to st uh, string uh, slicing what we can do is let's say i have a variable called curves and in this list it has uh, all amount of curves ipr tpr wpr that is wellhead performance relationship curve and choke performance relationship curve see we have uh, all the curves i have written down here what i want to do is i just want to access let's say ipr and tpr i am bothered about ipr and tpr so i just want to take only these two values out of all these four what i can do is similarly what we did in string was just write the variable name uh, take the square brackets on and just write the index you want to start from that is zeroth index ipr and just uh, write the last index so last index i'll write two because now this two i have already told you in string indexing as well uh, sorry string slicing as well that this two will not be included so what it means is it will just print me it will just give me the zeroth, uh, zeroth index and the first index 2 is not included second is not included right so if i print this if i just execute this cell okay i haven't executed this cell above curves now if i execute this cell 
it gives him IPR and TPR. Now similarly, if I let's say uh, I want to go for curves, I just want to print the WPR and CPR. What I want to do is I will I just want to uh, print the WPR and CPR. So from which index I should start? I should start from zero first second. I should start from second and where should I end it? This will be third index, but I want to I want to include it. So I'll have to write four here. Right now, uh, again, let's say I just want to print uh, IPR, TPR and WPR, these three. What I can do is I can write zero, two, three. Great. Uh, one more thing, one uh, one more uh, method to write in it is similar. Way. What you can do is you just uh, don't give the value of zero. If you simply put it like that as well, it means Python will automatically assume that you are starting from the zero. So, right now, if let's say I want to uh, go from TPR to till the end, so what I can do is I can just write uh, index from one to two, three, and four. If I write this one, one to four it gives me TPR, WPR, CPR and similar if I don't write 4 here, the Python will assume that it is going till the end of the list. So it will automatically give me like that. Great. One more thing is you can also give step in here. Let's say I just want to uh, IPR and WPR. I want to type just IPR, sorry, uh, IPR and a WPR. So what you can do is you can just use the step here, step function which I have told you in string slicing as well. So you have to start from here only. You are starting from here. So you can just write, sorry, you can just write here colon. And what you can do is, it means it is starting from here only and it is going till here. So I'll have to give the index of three, but I'll have to give the step of two. Curves, okay, I have misspelled here. It is C U R B S. Right? So by default, the step is 1. So if I make change here, it is by default the same value, I'll get the same results. If I don't write step, it means the step is 1 automatically by default. Okay, now let's do the reverse order. I've already told you in string slicing as well. Very simple way to reverse any order is just don't give any start uh, argument, just don't give any step argument sorry stop argument and just uh, give the step argument of minus one it will reverse me the order so you can see the order has been reversed cpr then wpr then tpr and then ipr okay now let us look at how can we update any value update any element in a list so let's say uh, i take my this list i have a list named pressure it has pressure 1200 psi and uh, 2500 psi and let's say 3000 let's say i misspelled here i i just uh, mistakenly write 3000 30000 instead of 3000 now i want to update this element right i want to change the value of this 30000 to 3000 one way you can do is you can always create a new list whole new list so how you will do that you will just create a, another variable let's say press and you will just uh, write there 1200, 2500 and you will uh, write correctly the value of 3000. Okay, this is the first way you can do it, but this takes a lot of time. So the second way is what you can do, you can just um, write, you can just update the last element. So how would you element, uh, how would you change that element? How would you update any value inside the list is? So this is at the position of index of 0 1 2 this is at the value of index 2 so what I can write is pressure and here index 2 I have to change this to new value so just assign it to just assign the new value you want to give so I want to give it 3000 right so I execute this cell now now let's say I print my uh, pressure variable which contains list now let's see what it gives me so Instead of 30,000, it is giving me the final updated value that is 3,000. So we have successfully updated our value. 
Now one thing you might be remembering, we tried to do this a similar thing in strings in the video uh, by name of st uh, immutability of string, why strings are immutable. So here, here in and, and, we, and we were unable to update a, a character, means we were unable to update any change, we were ab unable to uh, make any change inside a string because strings are immutable. You cannot change a string once it is built, you, ha you will have to make another string, new string. But this is not in the case of list. So we can uh, correctly say that lists are mutable. We can make any amount of changes in list. It is not necessary to make a, a new list whenever we want to make a change. Okay. So uh, I'll end the video here. And in next video, we'll learn uh, more things about list. And uh, yes, that's pretty much about it. Thank you for joining. I'll see you in the next video.